Hi, this is Dr. Eiko Holman. I want to continue in the series of quantum field miracles. So this is number three, and there are many more to share, but uh, I think this will be enough for a while. And uh, I'm getting the uh, a set of DVDs that I made at the Royal Priesthood Fellowship with Dr. Uh, Francis Miles. So once they are ready, and there's uh, DVDs I already made, and they're being uh, edited, I guess, and so I think within a few days, or maybe one week later, uh, it will be available. Okay, so there are a lot of exciting things that all to show me uh, how the quantum field is not only the bridge between the uh, spirit realm and the material realm, but also it corresponds to the soul of God. And uh, I have the diagrams available for spiritual and body for humans, and then corresponding uh, spirit of God, and then the quantum field and the physical material realm. Okay, so this time I, I want to talk about keys of the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus said, I give unto you keys of the kingdom of heaven. He did not say keys to, because we, you and I, the children of God, already in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so we don't need to have keys to the kingdom. Keys of the kingdom is that we have access to all the rooms in the kingdom. Okay, just like if you have a keys to the Hilton Hotel, well, you enter into the Hilton Hotel. But keys of the Hilton Hotel, you have access to all the other rooms and even the office and the, you know, uh, uh, treasure, treasure, or the uh, safe deposit box and things like that. Uh, every room you are allowed to go in. So in the same way, we have access to the rooms in the kingdom of heaven. And so one of them, the, the, the Lord said to his disciples, uh, to us, whatsoever you bind in earth shall be bound in heaven, whatsoever you loose on earth, earth shall be loosed in heaven. The, it sounds as if you do the binding and loosing on this earth and then the heaven will follow suit. It's exact opposite. The real translation and I, I believe uh, uh, was, uh, let's see, uh, Kenneth. Kenneth was a uh, Hebrew scholar as, as a good example. The real translation is, whatsoever you bind or loose on this earth should be, must be that which is already in the state of having been bound or loosed in heaven. <laughs> I hope it doesn't confuse you, but something that had to be already bound or loose in heaven, it's already set in heaven. The will of God is already expressed, and so whatever is bind and forbidden or loosed or permitted in heaven, we can tell what is God's will and already expressed in Jesus' teaching as well as Jesus' uh, ministry you know, binding and loosing, or permitting and forbidding, and uh, casting out demons and so on. And so, if you observe the Jesus' teaching and also uh, ministry, you will know Jesus is doing exactly the will of the Father. Remember John chapter 5, verse 18 and 19. And so, this uh, keys of the kingdom in Matthew 16, 19, is very important because once we know and the will of the Father, and when we see around us on this earth, stealing, killing, and destroying, and that's when we don't even have to ask the Father or Jesus that we are to undo the works of the devil, 1 John 3, 8, okay? So, keys of the kingdom is that we ascertain the will of God first, and then you follow suit of what God already expressed His will to be on this earth. Remember, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6.10 is already, uh, you know, I already quoted that. And so it's a decree instead of prayers. And so, <clears throat> and I already gave an example in uh, uh, China and uh, th things uh, started to happen. And sometimes instantaneous miracles started to happen because when we're dealing with the quantum level, which in turn has access to restructure or re uh, dematerialize or rematerialize and all those things, including co quantum tunneling, quantum <coughs> dematerializing, uh, entanglement, and so on. You and I become co-laborers to manifest His glory on this earth. And it's an exciting challenge that we are to receive and we are ambassadors of God on this earth, and so we will actually manifest the, the uh, will of God on this earth as it is in heaven. And I can give you many, many examples of, uh, I already mentioned the things that recreated miracles happen in China, uh, in here, Vancouver, uh, uh, or in uh, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, uh, let's see, in Russia too, yeah. So all these things, in, uh, the Lord is directing us to follow His examples. And then the whole idea is to allow the glory of God to be manifested on this earth as it is in heaven. Okay, so let me give you one example of how you can uh, use the, your God-given faculty of imagination. As you know, human beings are uniquely capable given the gift of imagination, the uh, power to speak, the faculty of speech, faculty of imagination, faculty to, to uh, think and, you know, our free will and so on. All these things are uniquely human and the imagination is one of them. And uh, so, book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, tells us the example of the Ezekiel being called upon to, uh, you, you know, this the story is the Valley of Dry Bones, Ezekiel 37. Uh, Ezekiel told to speak to the bones. They were just a bunch of, you know, bones. But the God told him to speak to the bones, and then he saw the bones came together, uh, bone to bone, and then sinews uh, together. You know, the, the, those uh, things that will hold the bones together. And then the flesh who came in. And so organs and the flesh and the uh, uh, muscles and so on came upon the bones and sinews. And then a skin, and so outer covering of the whole person. It was shown, and Ezekiel was looking at him, that there's no breath. And so the, the, fu uh, the function of the soldier standing up was there, but no breath and no life in it. And so Ezekiel was commanded by the Lord to speak to the four winds and the breath of God to come in in, in four different directions. And then, then the soldier not only stood up, but stopped breathing, and the life came into the soldier, okay? So the whole idea is using our faculty of imagination to bring this step-by-step, -step, the structure. And so if you uh, want to recreate the miracles of the human body, for example, and you can think about the diseased, part of the organ or the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, shoulder joint, the hip joint, or part of the lungs missing or pancreas missing or the diseased and so on. And so use the same steps of bones coming together, sinews, the flesh, and then the skin, and then final part is breathe 
into the faith image of the desired end results. Okay, so let's say you think about all these details coming to the wholeness of the, uh, you know, missing organs or missing parts uh, supplied, and so you you are able to see the by your imagination. In Ezekiel 37, you're seeing the final end results, the desired end results. But then you have to breathe into the faith image of your desired end results. And then you, to make that faith image come alive with the breath of God as you breathe into it. And so this is one of the reasons the Lord directed me to think about step-by-step -step construction of the desired end results of healing or the business success or uh, uh, human relationships. And any area of your life, you start constructing the faith image according to this Ezekiel 37. And then the final step is breathe into the faith image to make it come alive, okay? So when this happens, you know in the spirit realm you are restructuring and even rearranging uh, any disorder, any uh, chaos into orderly manner, the wholeness God intended for us to have. And so once you understand Ezekiel 37 and then breathing into it and then speaking it and then keys of the kingdom of heaven, you speak what's permitted or what's allowed or what's forbidden and will command what's forbidden, like pain and the cause of pain, cancerous tumor to get out or dissolve and then disappear or the, the uh, organs that have been damaged to be made whole. So you have the power and authority. We are given the privilege of speaking into the area of quantum field. Remember, which is the uh, bridge between the uh, spirit and the material world. And so we need to resonate with the the reality of the kingdom. In the same way, God's emotions, God's soul would uh, desire to have the healing and wholeness. But at the same time, he would be angry. He would be uh, indignant about lepro leprosy or cancer and other destroying, damaging things that, you know, still kill and destroy being done by the enemy. So you and I have every right to speak to that conditions and speak into the quantum level, you mean subatomic level, and so, so that the quantum level in turn will have the power and authority to restructure, rearrange everything to the wholeness and the completeness in the physical realm. Amen. Th this is exciting. Uh, uh, revelation, and uh, the Lord is directing each one of us to learn more, to obey the healing, the, the command of His desire, His will to make us whole and have the victory over the enemy, the victorious overcoming uh, commandment, mandate that we are given so that we will go around and to preach the gospel so that unsaved people will see the results. The, see, if, if Christians are uh, uh, sickly and damaged and, uh, you know, uh, weak, weaklings, <laughs> people around us, watching us, with this, who, who wants that? You know, sickly, defeated, weak, children of God. But if we demonstrate the power of God, the goodness of God to make people set free and made whole, then 
people will come to us and say, what you got that we haven't got? Teach us, show us how. And this is how we can preach the gospel and bring more people into the kingdom of God. Amen? Do you understand the real reason that God wants to spread the gospel and save people, bring those people into the kingdom and so that His kingdom will be established on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. God bless you.